Ladies and gentlemen, the noted world traveler, lecturer, and author, Mr. Somerset Winterset. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Somerset Winterset welcoming you. But before we have our story, we are proud to announce that we are being presented by a fine new sponsor. His Majesty's Chicken TV Dinner. <laughs> Just heat it and eat it. Just plug these two wires here in back of your TV set while you're watching your favorite TV program. Your chicken dinner is getting hot. And also, you can, if you wish, you may rotate the chicken legs to bring in a better picture. <laughs> Ah, yes. And now we plunge in tonight's play, which is all about one of the most amazing robberies in the animals of crime. In the anonym, in the animalist, in the, uh, in the best crime that you ever saw. It's called the Bellini Cup. And now, on with our show. <laughs> and now, on with our show. <laughs> <laughs> the show is going on now. <laughs> I'm not going to stand here another moment. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you see before you the most famous most valuable single art piece in the entire collection in the museum. The famous Bellini Cup, fashioned in 1421 in the city of Florence by the celebrated Italian craftsman Mario Bellini. It has been estimated at a value of over a million pounds. However, this estimate falls far short of the real value of this priceless work of art. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this ends our tour for today. Thank you very much. Here again, sir. Yes, I could spend the rest of my life gazing at this Bellini cup. Why, sir, you've been here every day for the past year. Yes, I love the Bellini cup. It's, it's exquisite, I don't know why, but I would exchange my very life for it. Why, sir, of course you know the Bellini cup is not for sale. And we have here the best and most sensitive burglar alarm system in the whole world. Oh, I know that. Well, good day, sir. Thank you. What exquisite beauty. What perfection in art. What, what exquisite symmetry. Maybe if I, if I shoved it in my underwear, I could... <laughs> No, it'd be too lumpy. <laughs> I must have it. And I shall hire some men, some crooks, to go with me with my plan. I must have the Bellini Cup. And I will have it. Oh, yes. I... Me. You can't give me the things I want. 
I want diamonds and jewels and furs. I want me a big house with servants. I want to be a fine lady. Well, what about me? I want to be a fine lady too. <laughs> Lady, a fine gentleman like, you know? Uh, Come on, what do you say, me? No, Tommy, you're not for me. If you want to marry me, ring me up when you're in a chip. <coughs> I beg your pardon, you little shrimp. <laughs> Are you Mr. Thomas Creepers? Who wants to know? Are you a copper? I'm not a copper. <laughs> Uh, now, Joy. All right, have a seat. What's on your ruddy mind, Governor? I just overheard your conversation. Uh, and I hear you're interested in becoming a fine lady. Well, not exactly. I'd rather become a fine gentleman, you know, with a lot of money. Never mind. How would you like to make 10,000 pounds? 10,000 pounds? Not off. Oh, I sure would. What do I have to do for this? Just do as I tell you. Uh, all I need is another man who knows something about burglar along. Well, oh, I know just the bloke. Come on, son, I'm your man. Hey, Tommy, where's you going after one of them two shilling robberies? Two shilling robberies, is it, me girl, eh? What does that look like to you? Oh, ten thousand a ducky! <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, don't get hurt. Here, I have enough of that. He's mine now, give him to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> Would you get that, please? All right, sweetie, I got it. Who's there? It's me, Tommy the Creeper. Oh, Betty. It's that terrible Tommy the Creeper. Remember, you promised not to associate with the likes of him again. Well, it's probably a social call. Let him in, honey. Oh, all right. Come on in. Evening, Mum. Evening. Hey, Bert. Hey, how are you? Hi, Tommy. Hi, you're not here to see you. Hey, gentlemen. Gentlemen here'd like to see you. Are you a copper? Oh. <laughs> Come off it. Stow that away. He's one of us. All right. Put her there, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Sure. Now, I'll tell you what I want to do. <laughs> He's got a proposition for you, Bert. Now, look. You're the best brother along men in all of London. It I am, sir. Now, I'm willing to offer you 10,000 pounds to do a job for me. 10,000 pounds? 10,000 pounds plus car fare to and from the robbery. <laughs> I've got to do it, honey. Yeah, that That's boy, funny, honey. Here no, we go. you're not, my pet. You said you were going straight, and you are going straight. I'm going to take your clothes. I'm going to throw it out the window because you can't do a job without your clothes. Oh, oh no, no, yet she's done that before. But this time I'm ready for her. I'm going to go and get that job because I need a ten thousand dollars for our little baby, honey. We're going to get that baby an education, and I'm going. This time I'm prepared. I always keep an extra suit right inside here so she won't get. <laughs> Catch me twice with the same thing. I'm ready, sir. Just wait a minute, sir. I'll get me ready. I'll catch you. I'll get what to catch you. I'm with you, sir. I'm ready for you. Look, now together we can we can do the perfect crime. It must be a perfect triumph for the Bellini Cup. Come on. Come on. Why should I just What are we doing here in a florist shop? That's why I thought we were going to rob a, a, a museum. Don't you gentlemen realize? The museum is right next door, with the same wall in between. Ah. But what about the florist who owns this place? He could catch us. I planned this a long time ago. I've been paying rent on this flower shop for years. What a beautifully twisted mind you have. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, are we all prepared? Right. You've rehearsed this, right? Yes, right, sir. sir. Now, you have the life raft and the jello. Yes, sir. I placed the life raft right in the museum against the wall, like you've said, sir. Good. May I ask you a question, sir? What is it? What's the life raft for? The life? It's for... What is it for? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. The life raft I, I placed in the museum. Why? Because when we chisel through right. the wall, any falling plaster 
might let the alarm, the burglar alarm, go off. So therefore, we have a life raft there made of rubber, inflated, and therefore it catches the plaster and doesn't make any noise. Oh, yes. Beautifully warped mind, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. Sir, yes. One more thing. What's the jello? <laughs> the jello we brought. What's that for? The jello is for pouring into the burglar alarm bell. Don't you understand? We pour the warm liquid jello into the bell, and then we take the ice, put it up against the bell, and when the jello congeals, the bell can't ring. What a delicious scheme, sir. And after that, the best part comes, we eat the jello. Brilliant. 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 All right. Now, we've all rehearsed this. We've got your time. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go, sir. I must have press upon you that once we pass these curtains, absolute silence. Watch it.
It's mine. It's mine, the fragile, the very history-making Bellini cup. Stay here and eat the jello. <laughs> a beautifully warped mind. I shall drink my wine from the Bellini cup. Oh, right, Charles, sir. There we are. <laughs> ah, what a fragile cup it is, eh? Beauty! Yes. Gentlemen, a toast. Here we are. To art, sir. To art. No, 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 no clinking of glasses with the Bellini. It's very fragile, you know. Right, sir. <laughs> to art, gentlemen. To art. Ears out! Ears out! Ears out! <laughs> Excellent police force. We should be proud of them. Take me away, sir. I deserve it. Come on. 